Hi, I'm Anders from Embedded Artist. This is our new LPC4088 display module. In this presentation, I'm going to present how program development, including debugging, is best done on the LPC4088 display module. The software framework we have created for the LPC4088 display module is based on the Embed SDK framework. The online Embed IDE has the following components. Code IDE. This is basically the code editor and project manager. A pre-configured compiler and linker that creates binary files ready to be downloaded. There is built-in version control and support to publish, fork, push and pull the code. It is possible to import and export projects. We will soon talk more about the export functionality. The Embed IDE is impressive and easy to use. It is accessible from any internet-connected computer, but has a few limitations. The Embed compiler is an online application and requires a working internet connection. The Embed site must also be online, which is not always the case. Maybe you cannot work for a couple of hours. That is typically not okay for a professional user. Version control. The embed system has one version control system called Mercurial, but you might prefer another due to license restrictions, work requirements or personal preferences. The online IDE does not have a debugger. Flashing LEDs and printf style debugging can only take you so far. As a professional user you need a professional debugger. You may have a preferred IDE that you're used to. You need to upload your code to a third party. That is typically not okay for a professional user. The code can very well be your core business. To get around these limitations, the online IDE can export your project to a number of different formats. This is the solution that we recommend. As seen in this screenshot, it is possible to export your project, including all dependencies to, for example, Kyle IDE, Elpis Expresso, GCC, IAR, mBlocks, etc. All exported projects are downloaded as zip files. For all IDEs except for LPC Expresso, the zip file should be unpacked. Assuming you have your IDE installed and projects associated, just double click the project file to launch the debugger. Microvision is used as an example here. The only exception is LPC Expresso, which is an Eclipse-based IDE that imports the zip archive directly. Note that this software framework is big and requires a commercial license for many of the IDEs. This is for example needed for Kyle's IDE, IAR and LPC Expresso. MBlox and ARM GCC have no size limitations, nor does the online embed compiler. Graphical applications typically get big not only because of the framework, but also because graphical user interfaces require more complex logic. An important reason for working with an external IDE is the debug possibilities. The display module has a SEMSYS DAP interface that is part of the Embed HDK. This allows an IDE to, that supports this interface to directly connect to and debug the LPC4088 display module. No external debug probe is needed. If your IDE doesn't support SEMSYS DAP or you have a better debug hardware, then you can use the Cortex debug connector and just remove the jumper in JP1. A tag connect cable can also be used on either side. You can for example use any of these products as debug probe. LPC Link 2, U-Link 2 or U-Link Pro, J-Link or J-Trace. The LPC Link 2 only costs 15 euro and gives considerably better download speed than the onboard SEMSYS DAP interface. Now you know how we recommend that you do program development on the LPC4088 display module. Thank you for watching.